Okay, so we've now finished up with the texturing. Uh, you, you can see I've added, you know, just some materials here for like the deck, the uh, so there's a little grass area, um, yeah, the roof, the insides, um, window, windows and door frames, things like that. Um, not use anything different from what we used in the previous video with the texturing. It's all been done in the same way. Um, so hopefully you've gone ahead and you've, you've done something similar with your own. Uh, so the last thing to really do uh, is work on adding in some lighting. Uh, so yeah, the, the one thing just to say is the computer I'm running this on is is not brilliant. So I might be just pausing and you know restarting the recording um, just so you don't have to sit and wait for it to calculate all the lights and things. But I won't be doing anything different in that time. So what lights we're going to use? We're going to come over to here. Um, so by default you're in this tab, right? So you can come over to the lights here. And actually, again, by default you'll see these photometric lights come up first. We don't want to use those because we are literally just sticking to the basic scanline render engine, not using anything fancy, uh, just when as we get started. So we're going to move over to standard lights, and I'm literally just going to focus on these bottom two here. These are the only two lights I'm going to use. So first of all, I'm going to add in this one, which is a skylight. And all you need to do is just sort of position it somewhere above um, the building. So that out of the way, that'll do. Um, and you'll need to come into the Modify tab. Um, and again, by default, the shadows is off. So you do need to turn shadows on in order to get those shadows. Um, a couple of other things with the skylight. Um, when you're rendering, if you want to increase render speeds but probably lower the quality then you can lower this number here um, but 20 is a is a safe bet you've also got this multiplier uh, that will change the brightness of this light if you want to affect that brightness for some reason and the color of the light can be affected by this one here I'm just going to leave mine as default so this is where we can preview the lighting within our viewport like, rather than rendering out every time uh, so to do that, what you need to do is just change this from standard to high quality. And then it will calculate the lighting um, within your viewport. And that can take some time. Again, it just depends on the speed of your computer. But immediately we can see there are some shadows here now. I'm actually going to turn off edged faces as well. There we go. Obviously inside the building has all gone a bit dark because, you know, it's going to be completely in shadow really um, but there's you can see it's kind of dark areas around sort of where objects meet you know, underneath the roof area and things like that um, that's the, the kind of shadows that the skylight will create just these kind of grounded shadows okay but we don't really have any like shadows that are being cast across the ground for example like you would normally so that's what the effect that we're going to get from this next light which is the omni light so change it back to standard, get an omni light, and again I'm just going to click once to add it, and this is basically going to be our sun position, so I'm going to chuck that somewhere up there, and um, again make sure I've turned the shadows on. Uh, again you can change the, uh, the multiplier, which is the brightness, the colour of the light and things like that, but just again for now, just leaving it super basic as the default. So let's come back to this view. And let's change it back to high quality. You can see, obviously, this happens sometimes. It's just because uh, it's calculating the effect of those lights. So this is where I'll literally just give it a pause. OK, and then we're back again. So uh, you can see that the, all those original shadows are still there. Um, but we've got some oh, they're going to keep popping up. Sorry, this, this computer really isn't a brilliant one, but um, you can see the brightness against uh, some of the walls here that's picked up. You can see the shadows being cast like across the ground uh, along the deck here and over here. Um, so that's the effect of that Omni light. And obviously that can change dependent on the position of your lights and positioning the lights is, is all part of, um, you know, what effect you want to get from the view that you're looking at uh, your building um, and things like that. So. That's fine, and just literally those two lights, um, you know, we've got some reasonably nice results already. But last thing I want to do, just in case, you know, you might want to have some lights on the kind of inside the building and the kind of the effect of, of that. So we're just going to look at that again quickly. So I'm just going to switch back to standard. 
Um, I'm not going to copy the light. I'm going to make a new one to make it. And just again, if you want to add more lights in, add in more Omni lights. So we need to do. So I'm going to add one to the inside. Um, chuck it kind of up, up in there where a light might be, maybe hanging down from the roof or something. Um, come over here, uh, turn the shadows on. Uh, move it up there. Okay. Again, come back to high quality. And I'm going to have to pause that again. Okay. So, yeah, you can see here now this light. Um, Mac is brightening up the the inside of the building really well but this is where you probably will really want to come in and change like the multiplier and perhaps the color of the light as well so if I change this color the an interior light is probably going to be a lot kind of warmer so I'm going to make this kind of a lot more orangey like that um, and the brightness is probably a bit bright so I'm going to turn that down to about 0.6 okay and then again, let the calculations happen. And then you get like a nicer kind of a warmer uh, lighting inside there. Um, you can see the light kind of coming in, out through those, through the glass in the windows there. Um, and again, you can kind of, there's no lights over this side, so you could put a light in here, uh, all sorts of things that you could do. That's kind of down to you. Just add in more Omni lights, how you want to do that. Um, so you only need one skylight. You never need more than one skylight and then just add some omni lights and you can get a perfectly good um, render out of it so in terms of actually creating a render uh, if you come up here you've got a um, teapot with a little cog on it if you click that you can see that we are using the scanline renderer um, and I'm not going to change anything really um, to be honest all I'm going to do is show you where you've got this uh, output size so you might want it to be HD, for example, so a 1920 by 1080. And if you wanted, you know, if you wanted to do a proper like 4K render, then by all means you can. Just type in your values you want here, um, and then hit the uh, render button. Uh, and it'll take a little while, so I'll just pause again. Great. So here we can see our final render uh, has been done. Um, you know, which looks great. Obviously, this, this could be improved. I'm sure you, you can do better with yours um, to further play around with the, the lights and the, the settings for those, um, adding in different ones uh, or more of them. So um, from here, I guess the next step, well, you, you, you know, your first thing you'll think is, well, you know, you're just in this black kind of void uh, of space. So from here, obviously, you would be able to just use the same kind of techniques that you've learned already to build build up some stuff kind of in the foreground you know you might have a, a road here potentially or um, kind of a, a, some landscaping in the, the front or back garden or whatever it might be um, fencing whatever you kind of it might have to use your imagination for that or if you've got reference images whatever um, in terms of the kind of skyline uh, you can actually take this out so you could save this image here so you go save image um, take that into something like Photoshop um, remove that kind of just blackness and replace that with a uh, kind of a sky image uh, to create that so you can really work with that um, in kind of a post processing uh, within Photoshop or something similar um, and you can get some really nice results and that's literally just from you know the scan line renderer uh, with two very basic lights so yeah you don't need anything too fancy to, to get the basics down all right, so I'm just going to close that one down. Um, come back here, come back to standard and turn my edge faces back on. Um, and that essentially is is that. All right. So, yeah, like I said, uh, if you want to go beyond this, um, you want to look into other render engines, for example, and you actually you know, really want to work on getting a, a more photorealistic uh, result. Uh, you do have within 3ds max as default you do have the arnold render engine which you can create some really nice results from um, other than that you're going to want to look at um, the, the sort of paid ones which would be v-ray which would be the best one um, there also is also is mental ray as well which is another really good one um, 
and yeah you know that you could go you could go a lot further with that so we won't go too much more into it in depth uh, but that would be a good starting point all right and that's all